Hello everyone, this is Dave from Videos from Dave, and today I have my Nintendo Switch E3 predictions. First, a given. We will get more info on Mario Odyssey. We will see new environments, as well as new gameplay elements, and the game will be available to play at the show. We will also get an announcement on the release date for mid-November 2017. Second, we will get more info on Splatoon 2. They will detail all the multiplayer modes and provide some more info about the single player campaign. Third, a release date for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild first DLC pack with a possible available now announcement. Also possible is some info on the second DLC pack coming later this year. I also suspect we will see the first big OS update for the Switch announced, which will bring, among other things, streaming video services like YouTube and Netflix, and maybe even Twitch and Amazon Prime Video, but it will not bring the ability to stream Switch games. We also may catch a glimpse of the Switch's upcoming smartphone app. For new Nintendo games, I suspect we will hear about three titles. First, a Kirby 2D platformer for Fall 2017. Second, an Animal Crossing with more of a focus on farming, borrowing ideas from games like Stardew Valley for an early 2018 release. And lastly, a tease for a new open-world 3D Metroid game built with the Breath of the Wild engine, with either no release date or a late 2018 release. As for third parties, I predict several new Nindies will be announced for the Switch. We will also get an announcement that Capcom will be bringing Monster Hunter Double Cross to North America. They will also announce a Mega Man collection. From Ubisoft, we will obviously get Mario Rabbids, which is already fully leaked online. But we will also get an announcement for South Park, The Fractured Butthole. A game that was denied to be coming to the Switch, but one that seems like a perfect fit. I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Did I just hear someone use a microaggression? Two more third-party games I suspect we will see announced for the Switch is a Call of Duty title. Maybe a new one, maybe an older one, or maybe a custom one, but definitely a Call of Duty title. In Rocket League, a game that would fit absolutely perfect with the Switch's built-in two-player capability. What we won't see. Virtual console. It's not going to happen yet. It will come later, and likely have its very own Direct. Also, no more Pokemon for Switch. We will likely see a game made from the ground up for the Switch in a couple years. Till then, I'd suggest keeping a 3DS handy. Lastly, no Super Smash Brothers Deluxe. Nintendo likely has plans for at least a few deluxe versions of Wii U games, but I don't think we will see another for 2017. 
Nintendo will likely want to fill gaps over the next couple of years, and they don't want the Switch to feel like a machine that's just getting ports. So they will likely spread them out. Also, and likely more importantly, Nintendo would be crazy to announce Super Smash Bros. Deluxe three days before the release of ARMS. ARMS is an important release for Nintendo. It's the first major release from Nintendo that's exclusive. An announcement of Smash, even months out, could hurt ARMS sales. And Nintendo has been far too deliberate in their release and announcement schedule of games to do this. Well there we have it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. This is Videos from Dave, signing out.